<sighs> hey guys, and welcome back to the, today's video. I know it's been a long time since I did a story time. The last one really blew up. Thank you guys for that. It meant a lot to me to see that. It meant a lot to know that you guys really liked that. Um, I know I promised for one to come out the next coming weekend, and it didn't quite follow through. Things didn't work out, but that's okay. We're here now. We're doing another one, and I'm... Uh, real excited to share this one with you. Um, it's around the same time that the shoplifting was going on and the same time that I was getting caught for not shoplifting. But <laughs> um, I guess I should start it out by saying don't date sisters. All right, It's not a good idea. It never works out. And it's definitely not something for anybody to do, it's kind of a dick move. It's not <laughs> the greatest uh, nice guy thing to accomplish in your life. But I will say that I wasn't, I didn't really have a vendetta over it. You know, I didn't expect it to happen, and it just kind of did happen. It started out, you know, I was around seventh grade. I had met this girl in this random class. She was holding a bearded dragon, and, you know, I, I like lizards. I was like, hey, you know, why don't I go up and pet this random ass reptile that this chick's holding? So I walk up, I'm like, hey, you know, can I pet it? Is it yours? She goes, no, it's uh, the class pet, you know. And we started talking and everything, and she was really cool. She was really nice. She was, uh, she was the kind of uh, crazy that I was into. Because, you know, everybody's into some form of crazy. Some, uh, level of crave, Cravey. Cravey. Gravy. Gravy? Crazy. Crazy. Everybody's into some level of crazy. <laughs> and I just happen to be in the kind of level that she was in. Well, we, you know, we talked. We hung out for a little bit. Everything was going well. And, you know, a couple of weeks went by. And this, it was a really dick move of me. I had another best friend at the time, and I decided I'd ask her out too. You know, two birds, one stone. I was going to ask two people out on the same day, double my chances. Um, you know, I figured somebody would say yes, and I kind of wanted a girlfriend at the time. So I did, took my chances, asked them both out. Neither of them knew that I asked the other one out. Um, they weren't related, by the way. These aren't the sister. One of them is a sister, but the other one was just my best friend. Uh, <laughs> and come to school the next day, and I had an answer from both of them. Uh, my best friend said no, because, you know, it's kind of awkward, but it was hey. And then the chick I had met in class had said yes. She thought it was a good idea. She wanted to hang out at the Halloween dance that was coming up. Um, and my friends are weird, okay? My friends have always been weird. They've been amazing kind of crazy. They will always be an amazing kind of crazy, and I can't get enough of it. Well, that night, I had, you know, dressed up, kind of looked nice. I was wearing an all black button up and she decided to completely cover her face in or not her face, her lips in mascara. Her face was like whatever the pasty white makeup you put on. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, and she was wearing like a black dress or whatever. And you know, everything's going good. We're listening to music. It's it's seventh grade. So it's not like we're all sitting there and up on each other or anything. Um we're all just dancing, having a good time, joking around. There's food. It's like a little kitty party, you know. They got little pizzas and cookies upstairs because we had a two-level gym. Ah, uh, fancy, right? Yeah. Um. And, yeah, my friends decided it would be a great idea to try to get her and I to kiss. First night, you know, we're literally actually the first entire day we had been dating and they were trying to make this happen 
they wanted to happen, they kept asking her, you know, hey, you should go up and kiss him with black fucking mascara on her lips. And they're trying to get me, hey, you should go kiss her. And it's like, we just started going out. I already felt awkward about the situation. You know, I wanted to enjoy the night, have fun, talk, everything like that. But she was also not down for it. And my friends had their own plans. So the entire night we're getting pestered, you know, you should kiss her, you should kiss him, duh, back and forth, back and forth for hours. The party was going on for like four hours, and I kid you not, every hour at least 50 times they would be just hounding us about it and it just got to the point where I ended up taking off and just walking somewhere else walking away from them trying to you know just get get a little bit of quiet and enjoy my night <laughs> it just so happened I was deciding to enjoy it without my new girlfriend because you know they were following her around too um Well, anyway, a few months go by, and crap happened. And there was really big dysfunction. It was seventh grade, so I don't know how much of a dysfunction there could really be in a relationship like that. You know, somebody stole somebody's Snickers bar or some bullshit. But, yeah, we ended up breaking up. And it sucked. It hurt. It was one of my few, like, real relationships that I had actually been committed to. <laughs> In seventh grade. I was, yeah. Um. But yeah. At her, we just didn't really talk for a while. I mean, we'd been dating for a good three, four months. It was, you know, it was a okay relationship. Besides that, and it being a 7th grade relationship. Well, we didn't talk that entire summer. Um, almost at all, until towards the end of it, when one of my other best friends decided, you know, how about we all go to a pool? She invited me along, she was like, hey, you know, you want to go to a pool? Uh, you know, your ex is going to be there, but, you know... Her sister's gonna be there, and I know you and her sister get along, and I'm gonna be there, and I'd really like for you to come along. It'd be fun. And I was like, okay, you know, why not? I'll come. I forgot who was driving. I don't remember if it was my ex's parents or my friend's parents, but I show up, and <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I was wearing my regular shorts. We were at a pool. I was wearing regular swim trunks. Everybody was in regular bathing suits. And then my ex is wearing this pitch black cloak. This, like, pitch black cloak. Um. What do you call it? Bathrobe. That's what it is. Pitch black cloak bathrobe and it was an actual like bathrobe with a hood it was so strange no idea why she was wearing it but she was um and her and her sister are two years apart i just figured i'd bring that detail up just so everybody was like nobody's like freaking out or questioning or anything well her sister and her were two years apart and you know my ex was completely fine. She wasn't talking to me at all, and I was fine with that. I, you know, wasn't really pushing her to speak. I'd, you know, make the occasional comment or try to make conversation, like, every once in a while, but I wasn't pushing. You know, if we were going to be friends or anything, then it would happen eventually. But her and our sister, her and her sister, <laughs> her and our sister, yes, her and her... <laughs> Me and her sister are having a great time to swimming around and playing and just joking around. And my friends just bounce around between me and my ex, you know, making conversation, trying to lighten the mood, even though I was having a great time. And we went on like that for a couple hours, and then we all went our separate ways, we all went home, and her and... not her. Her sister, my ex's sister, that's what I'm trying to say. My ex's sister 
and I are still talking. We're talking over the phone. We had um, each other's numbers, and you know, we're just going back and forth. And she's like, "Hey, you know, I actually kind of really like you." And I was like, "You know, sure, I kind of like you too." Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was just going along with it because why not? Girlfriends are girlfriends. She was attractive. <laughs> uh, so I just sat there and I was like, you know, why not? Why wouldn't I? You know, say yes. There was, there was no reason I shouldn't. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So I said yes when we started going out that day. And we would talk on and off. We'd make these really dumb, you know, comments and stuff towards each other. We gave each other really stupid nicknames. And I don't believe in hiding embarrassing things. Not on this channel. Not on this story time. We won't be doing that here. I'm going to be completely out in the open about what we called each other, and <laughs> as embarrassing it is, as it is for me, I know you guys are going to enjoy it, so... <laughs> she would legit call me. <laughs> this is a hundred times worse, because I'm on the phone with people right now. They're hitting... My friends are listening to me record this right now, so I know that they're going to laugh, and they're going to just break out and hysteria over this crap. Because <laughs> it was, it's, you guys, no, you guys who are watching this have no idea how terrible it is. You guys have no idea until I'm, a, until I tell you, which I'm about to right now, how absolutely just intensely bad these nicknames were. She called me Mandaconda. Man Aconda. Manaconda. Anaconda. Man. Man in front of Anaconda. Man Daconda. If you are listening to this video this far in, I am glad you waited because this is where it starts getting good. It wasn't just Mandaconda. There was, uh, I think she called me Puppy Dog too, and something else. Um, and I had some, I had some, uh, what did I call her? I called her some other really cringy, terrible fucking names too. And it was, it was just awful. Okay. Absolutely the worst. I don't know why it was okay. She called me the Kraken too. No fucking idea where that came from, but she called me the Kraken. No idea where it came from, but that was there too. It was, it was absolutely terrible. Okay, guys. Don't know what I was thinking. I guess, you know, I was just happy in that situation, you know, I just hit my mic, but it's okay. Um, oh, well, that's why my ears are hurting. I had my earpieces in the wrong ears. Ah, it's all good. Um, but the absolute worst thing is just so cringy, so terrible. <sighs> and yeah, I started, I started going back over to their house again, which was, you know, Not the best in lines of not being awkward. There was a lot of stares from both of her older sisters. She had two older sisters. The um, Her next oldest was the one that I had dated, and the oldest oldest was just a really good friend. She and I were like, well, we weren't like close, but we definitely... I got along with her. I thought she was cool. She was definitely really cool. Um, but yeah, and it went on like that for a while. You know, we hung out. She had a pet snake. The younger sister had a pet snake. The one that I'm dating currently in, like the timeline. <laughs> Here, she had a pet snake and everything, and it was really cool. Everything was going great. Um, and then my ex started getting jealous. And I didn't think about this when it was happening. I really didn't. But now that I look back on it, it was so dumb. It was just so dumb for me not to see. But they ended up sharing me. Her, my, her older sister, my ex, started to get really jealous and pitch a fit because I was her friend too. We had started talking while I was dating her younger sister, and we became friends again, and she started, like, pitching a fit, saying, you know, oh, he's my friend, too, why shouldn't I get to hang out with him while he's here? 
everything like that. And I should have known that this was going to be a bad idea. Because it ended up, I would spend, I'd be there for a s certain amount of time, and I'd take an hour out of however much time I was there at their house to go hang with my ex. And <laughs> that sounds terrible. It sounds absolutely terrible. Again, it is. It's completely terrible. I'm not trying to justify the fact that it's not. It, it was. And I didn't realize it. It didn't click. Um, and then, as you guys can probably, you know, think, we started hanging out. We'd go out. We'd walk down her huge driveway. She had a huge, huge fucking driveway. I forgot to mention, these girls lived in the gated community, okay? They were fucking loaded compared to the rest of where I live. Like, they were upper fucking middle class, almost mansion level, just, it was, yeah. Um, but yeah, we, it was midwinter and we were walking down her long ass driveway. And it was me hanging out with my ex for the allotted hour that I was supposed to hang out with her because she got to choose when she could barge in and be like, hey, it's my hour. I'm going to go hang out with him. And, you know, it was whatever, I guess. I was fine with it. Don't know why, because, you know, I guess I wasn't thinking. Attention! <laughs> <laughs> and we ended up walking down a drive and hanging out in her yard. Not her yard, but her neighbors that were like <laughs> a quarter of a mile down her long driveway. Her, her driveway was like a quarter of a mile and then up a hill and then this huge beautiful field that was her neighbor's yard that she could go hang out to. This huge, huge, enormous field. It was gorgeous, guys. The sun was setting, it was midwinter, it was freezing, but the view was amazing. We were having a good time, we were talking, everything was going really well. But it was getting really cold. And neither of us brought a jacket. And... It's only right to tell you guys now. I was the classic animal. I sat there and oof, she was shivering, I was shivering, and I looked at my ex square in the face, dead in the eyes, and said, you know, we'd be a lot warmer if we just sat here and cuddled. And so we ended up curling up in the middle of a field with the last allotted no, yeah, it was the last 30 minutes that we had to hang out as the sun set, hanging out in this gorgeous field as it's getting dark in like sub-zero temperatures <laughs> with no jacket, cuddled in a field. And the worst part is I didn't feel guilty. I probably should have because I was dating her younger sister. And she was also my ex, but I didn't. I was, you know, a big attention whore. And <laughs> I was enjoying every minute of it. Um, and yeah, it <laughs> that started this big thing where, you know, I started to not like the attention I was getting from her sister. And we ended up breaking up because her little sister was great and all. She was attractive, but we did, like, she was also at that age where every little thing, like a, a small argument, she'd break up with me. And then five minutes later, oh, I'm sorry, did it, and come, like, crawling back. And it was really annoying. Very, very annoying. Highly annoying. And I ended up just snapping one day. I was like, you know, it's done. No, it's over. I'm not taking you back. Forget you. I guess partly because I knew <laughs> that her sister <laughs> was waiting in the background for that to happen. <laughs> so it was kind of like a reassurance, like, hey, I got a backup plan. <laughs> if I decided not to take it back anyway. And within the next two weeks, I ended up going out with my ex 
who was my other ex's older sister again. <sighs> yeah. It's eighth grade now. I had just gone through sisters. This big fucking rotation. And we dated for nine months. It was really nice, actually. It was a lot better than the first time. We were a little more mature. We went through it better. And then everything just fucking blew up in my face. Mostly because I decided to date sisters. And you're probably wondering, well, what did the oldest sister and the parents think? Well, I don't know why. But the father was completely... He, he absolutely adored me. No idea what part of it he was oblivious to. Or anything like that. But he didn't... It just didn't matter to him, I guess. He was really, really cool about it and really fine with it, I guess. I don't know. He never brought it up. He always treated me like family and numerous times he was like, you are always welcome at this house. I just want you to know that you, no matter what happens, you are always welcome here. And everything was fine. And the mom, she wasn't around much. I could tell that I was not her favorite person in the world, but the rest of her family kind of enjoyed me. And the older sister, like I said, we were pretty okay. If she had a problem with me, she was really good at hiding it. Um, but, yeah. I can't tell you how many times, yeah, we had, um, me and the sister had almost got caught doing stuff. There was all sorts of different stories within that. Um, and a lot of drama there, too. I'm gonna save the individual dating stories for another time. I will talk about me dating my ex for the last time in another video. I'll go into bigger detail with that and tell you guys all about all the shenanigans and things that her and I got into because that is... That's a whole nother story time in itself, guys. And I will tell you guys about, you know, the younger sister that I dated too, because that's uh, another thing. Oh, that's a totally another animal in itself as well. They are two totally different people, nothing alike. And mm, <laughs> I'll just have to save it for next time, guys. So this is about it. I'm going to be wrapping it up. If you liked the video, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. I hope you guys like this one. Um, as far as I know, this is going to be the only draft of this that I do. I might redo and make another draft. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. But yeah. So there you have it. Me dating sisters the full outline and start of a potentially insane series. I do plan on making this into a series within the story time series <laughs> that I'm doing. Um, and like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want to hear more about me dating sisters, uh, I have plenty of crazy stories about that. Plenty of different things that happened. Plenty of individual stories that happened within this story outline and everything. And I will catch you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.